Hey! Good morning from Oslo. We've been here for like a week now, actually. And we haven't really done too much. We've re really been looking forward to coming to Oslo just to have a rest because this is like the side of traveling no one really talks about, but you need to have breaks. And we've really been looking forward to this to this Airbnb since like, I don't know, France maybe. We've just been so tired. But now we are actually ready to go out. We're going to be exploring Oslo today and then we're doing the rest of Norway as well in a few days. We've been at this really nice Airbnb which I'll quickly show you guys around. So I think our host is like a musician or something because there's lots of musical instruments everywhere. This is the bedroom. So bed back there, guitar. You go out through here and then front door there, bathroom there, kitchen and a living room. It's pretty cool. But let's go out now. So I'm really excited for Norway because I'm actually part Norwegian, which means I'm basically a Viking. I have Viking blood running through my veins. So it's gonna be really exciting. And we're starting off by going to the Viking Ship Museum. So we're at the Viking Ship Museum and this place includes has about Four Viking ships, I think, in here. There were burials or something. I think they're burials. But they are pretty impressive. done with the Viking ship museum that was so cool there were like four ships in there most of them were in pretty good condition everything very impressive and now we are taking the ferry to the town center Keith wants to buy a boat but I told him no ship. he's not allowed no not even a little one you can't stop me because I have Viking in my in my blood so you can't stop me from buying a ship Pad Thai in Oslo. Yeah. We're leaving Oslo today. We are about to head out and we're gonna go take a train on to Flum. Saying that wrong, totally. This is like a city out in the middle of Norway. There's meant to be this like amazing railway called the Flum Railway and it's meant to be super scenic and everything so I'm really looking forward to that We've made it to Myrdal, saying that wrong as well. It's the station we have to transfer to get onto the Flam Railway and this place is unreal. It's snowing, didn't think I'd see snow again for a long time. Look at those mountains, it was crazy on the way in. It was like blindingly white. That's the train we just came off, figuring out where we have to go. But look at it, it's amazing. So we have maybe a 20 minute to half an hour wait for our train and while it was clear when we came in um, there's all this cloud coming over um, there was this big valley that you could look down and now you can't see it because it's covered in cloud and the snow starting to pick up so I feel like as we wait on this platform with not much shelter we're gonna be ca get caught in a blizzard or something the snow is getting really really heavy oh my god thank god our train is here this snow has just picked up something crazy. Oh my god, the poor camera. <laughs> Look at this.
Hostel in Flam. You're one and only Hostel in Flam. Yeah, it doesn't look like a hostel. It's also a camping ground. That's awesome. It's really it's so awesome in here. What do you think of the railway? The railway was awesome. Yeah. It's probably the most beautiful place in the entire world I've ever seen. Okay, this is Flum. It's basically the whole city. It's like 20 buildings. There's one supermarket. It's like four restaurants. And that's about it. We've already walked the whole length of it in about five minutes. We're gonna get food now. Yeah, food. From one of the few places that's open. <laughs> It's the next day here in Flurm. Um, it's a lot nicer today. It's really sunny and it's really nice this area when it's sunny. We have a ferry to catch at about 3.30. It's about one o'clock now. So we're just sort of wandering around the town even though we saw it all yesterday because it's a really small town. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for a little walk maybe. Um, there's like this hill and we see if we can get on top of the hill and see if we can get a view of Flum. <laughs> through a fjord. Uh, I think it's part of the Songen Fjord, which is one of the largest fjords in the world, I believe, largest and deepest, and it is incredible. It's a basement place. I, at first I was worried that there'd be no windows, but there are. This place is so nice. Look at it. Living room, kitchen. I like all the grey furnishings and stuff. The table, wardrobe thing, bed, and the bathroom. Looks so nice and modern. Is that a Norwegian krona? Yeah. Looks like a backing coin. A host even left us milk and look how cool this is one it shows you like how much you've got left and as you go down there's like trivia questions and then the answers are down there that's so cool this is the little street that our airbnb's on so 
incredibly cute. It really is. Okay, and we're going to be exploring Bergen today. We got from the fish market some salmon, sashimi very Norwegian. The salmon's Norwegian. Mm. You go first. Mm. Good salmon. It's like the ocean. It's gonna go by my hands. Oh. Dick Hunter style. <laughs> Is it all mine? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good salmon. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Norway. just caught that but Norway has the highest percentage of Teslas in the world and that taxi was a Tesla we just finished exploring Brigen which is a world heritage site and it's like those old cool colorful buildings over there and now we're gonna go up one of the mountains Bergen is surrounded by seven mountains and one of them is called Mount Floyen and it's a very popular tourist spot so we're gonna go up there we can take the funicular and it looks like it starts somewhere around there and then it goes up there I believe that's where we're going. We're at the top of Mount Floyen, Floyen, not sure what it's called. Um, there's an awesome view of Bergen up here, and we're gonna go for this little walk to a lake or something. Look, it's a lake. We found the lake. Well, we saw the lake. Um, now we're just gonna begin our trek back down. We're not gonna take the funicular down. We're gonna walk back to town, and I think it's about three kilometers back to town through this amazing forest. Oh my god, as we're walking down the hill there's a slide and I think it cuts out some of the hill. I think I'm gonna go down it. <laughs> this beats walking! 